Welcome to another episode of TLA. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. This is me, TLA, semi-deranged kayak fisherman, but around this time of the year, Uchi herring hunter. In this episode, I go on four trips to chase down the elusive San Francisco Pacific herring spawn. This natural yearly occurrence begins in earnest in December and runs all the way through March. If you're a fan of Pacific herring, either for food or bait, this episode is for you. In this episode, I'm joined by my friends, Moo Outdoors, Twee, Fishing 24-7, Carlos, Danny, Jake, Fernando, Andy. Well, the whole dang party just came to town for this event, didn't they? I'm also excited to do a collaboration with a special guest, Fisherman's Life, who's also a big fishing YouTuber himself. I'm excited for this episode, so let's get started. If you want to know more about the San Francisco herring spawn, you can visit my website at www.thelostanchovy.com where I have many tutorials that cover this event. There's also an active community of Pacific herring hunters that share information about the spawn and spawning locations to help you get on the fish. Hey guys, welcome back to the episode of TLA. So there's a herring spawn around Mission Bay area and you guys know me, I'm an OG herring hunter. So uh, we're going to make our way out there to the herring spawn. I heard that a whole bunch of people just got word of it too. So there's like maybe a bunch of people out there right now. Um, but it always seems like there's something that has been kind of happening around that area for the last few days and, and I haven't really put my finger on it, but I know it's been happening late at night. So, um, so we're gonna go herring hunting. Join us. Um, but it's Nag City over here. So it's a really a big risk and reward if you're gonna be able to catch anything or not. So I don't know. We haven't decided what we're gonna do. See, these guys are just getting it. A lot of good herring, but not too many. Yeah. Not too many, but it's a hit and miss in between. So we're gonna see where everything's gonna go. Carlos and I are just kind of enjoying it right now. Maybe they'll they'll come in a little. Maybe they'll come in a little uh, closer in a little bit. But right now they're just kind of laying outside, where it potentially could get some snaggy. So let's see. Hey guys, look who I found here. Found Andy outdoors. Yeah, what's up? Andy, I heard you got a kill or oh. kill or catch, bro. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. <laughs> what do you get, Andy? <laughs> I got the I got the lost one. <laughs> <laughs> you got one the one that didn't figure out how to get away. Oh, Andy, what's going on? <laughs> we got one. Oh man, that's a tough going. But uh, how long you gonna stay still? Another uh, 30 minutes or so? Yeah, we got 30 minutes. Yeah, I got another wait, 30 minutes. Uh, you know, give it another 30 minutes, see? Yeah. It just, it just seems like it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, but when? Sure yeah. When? Yeah, that's the part. It's just a waiting game. It's a waiting game. Because you can tell these are like the, the starters. You know it's coming in, bro. You know it's coming right, in. Right. So we have decided to move because we don't seem like there's a lot of fish around right here. Um. Lots of throws, very few fish being caught. Uh, that guy caught. We are out here in Mission Bay, and I have caught one herring for the last two hours. I went down to, where do you go, Carlos? Aqua Vista. I went down to the pier. There's a bunch of people there that I was getting snagged, and I decided to move. But alas, here we are. Jared has gotten a few herring there, herring there, herring there, and these guys are still casting like they think they're gonna catch anything. <laughs> but alas, Chovy knows better, and he's going home to a, a warm bed. All right, gen ladies and gentlemen, we will catch you next time on another herring run. Herring hunters log, January fifteenth, two thousand and twenty. I've got a report that the second herring spawn of the year is happening in Sausalito. So today, Tui and I and Moo and Carlos are heading out to check out the herring spawn. No guarantees, but we're hoping that with the high tide coming in, it's gone. 
going to be good. So, it's an interesting fact what people will do for herring. <laughs> it's really an interesting fact what people are doing. This fish would just drive you crazy. One, because you never know quite when they're actually going to show up. And two, when they do show up, what commitments do you already have in your life that you would drop to go actually go get this fish? Now, here's a good example. This Tui, <laughs> and you guys know I'm as fishing 24-7, <laughs> okay? Tui, what day is it today? Uh, our anniversary. Whose anniversary? My anniversary? Uh, no, my wife's and I'm anniversary. 22 years. 22 and years. I told my wife, we do it tomorrow. Today <laughs> it's herring day. That's a man that's willing to <laughs> die for, for herring. So, so think about that if you're, if you're thinking about getting into herring hunting. This man is actually leaving 22 years with his wife to go herring hunting. I have no idea how he's actually going to pull that off, but he did anyway. So he's going to go home and I'll, and we'll have a missing persons report in about another two days or so. But that that is that is what herring hunting will do to you. Yep, yep. Oh, and I'm really hoping they're going to be out there today. But um, either way, Tui's dead. Catch you guys later. Normally, before heading out for the night, we grab some OD dinner. Carlos knows the best places for burgers and burritos around his neighborhood. And since this was Tui's last meal, we wanted to get him something good. After OG dinner, we packed the car and we're ready to cross the gate to Sausalito to hunt for some herring. Just, just anything, bro. Just... <laughs> hey, um, you know what? When we arrived, times were looking rough for the herring hunters, but moving outdoors was a hot hand for the night. Oh. What? Outdoors? <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? What happened to your bucket, bro? <laughs> what happened to your bucket? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Where's your bucket at? Right there. Uh, he's got one bucket and the 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 lost herring. <laughs> the lost herring. <laughs> what a jerk, bro! <laughs> it's like, uh, what's man. the worst part of herring hunting? The worst part? Trophy lying to us. Oh. <laughs> wow. He promised me that wow. he's gonna catch herring. Promise. 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 It's a hundred percent guarantee. Hundred percent. So. <laughs> Was it Chovy that brought everybody together? The king of Aaron. Yeah, yeah, you guys already knew that was happening. 22. 10 15 p.m. near high tide. And we have not caught any fish lately. We caught a few fish uh, over by uh, down that way, but we're back at Spinnaker. Nothing yet. Moo did get one, as you guys saw earlier, but other than that, we haven't really caught anything else. Pacific herring, like most fish, are extremely tide dependent, which means that they tend to spawn during the change of the tides. Around 12 a.m. in the morning, the tides were right and, and the fish slowly started to move in. This wasn't an open spot by any means, but we were able to get a quarter bucket to half a bucket each. Yes, you get tickets. You can get the uh, perch on the net. That wasn't. Oh, so we are what we are, and here we are. After two trips with marginal returns and a lot of grinding to get a few fish. We, Danny, and I decided to take the boat out and try to get a better position on them. With the double rainbow on the horizons, we knew that Lady Luck was on our side. Things were finally starting to turn around and we were ready for the herring spawn to finally get going. I knew from past experience the schools were on their way in and fishing was only going to get better from here. Things were finally picking up and we were steadily netting fish on every cast. Spawning herring are highly sought after for the roe, which is sent to Japan as a delicacy. It's a herring massacre! It's a herring massacre! Right there! Oh, 
Toy, holy smokes. I know. We, uh, we're allowed six buckets. So, I know this is your first year. This is walking, man. <laughs> this is no question. This is walking. You make me walk. Hey, do you like it? I don't like it. I know it. you like it. I don't like it. I know you like it. I love it. I don't I like, like it. it. I don't like it. Uh, oh, my friends. What are we talking about here? We're talking about some. Real life herring hunting. Man, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes, baby. Yeah. Thank you to the herring king right there. Yeah.